In this video, we're going to come up with an approximation as to how fast a person standing on the equator of the Earth is rotating about the Earth's axis every 24 hours. So we know the Earth rotates in the counterclockwise direction. And one of the things that we'd like to distinguish is that a person standing here on the equator actually has a smaller what's called tangential velocity than a person standing here on the Earth, even though both people rotate on the Earth's axis once every 24 hours. So the velocity of this person is often referred to as the tangential velocity. And what you should note is that the tangential velocity decreases as you get closer and closer to the poles of a planet. Now, the distance between the center of the Earth and a person standing along the equator is about 6,378 kilometers. And what we want to do is we want to calculate what the person's tangential velocity is in miles per hour. So what we first need to do is multiply this distance by a conversion factor, converting this over to units of miles. So you should know that there are 1.61 kilometers in every one mile. And when you do this conversion out, you get the units of kilometers cancel out, and then you get 6,378 miles divided by 1.61. And when you divide that out, you get about 3,961 miles. So this is the radius of the Earth expressed in units of miles. Now a person standing on the equator of the Earth doesn't just travel 3,961 miles in one day. They're actually going to be traveling in a circle as they rotate about the Earth's axis. And in this case, they're going to be rotating about the circumference of a circle, which is going to be expressed as 2 pi times the radius. And in this case, we know that the radius of the Earth is going to be 3,961 miles. Now the Earth rotates at a constant velocity, so the tangential velocity of a person at the equator is going to be the distance they travel divided by the time it takes for them to travel that distance. Now in this case, the distance they travel is going to be equal to 2 pi times the radius, which is 3,961 miles, and it takes 24 hours to make that one rotation. Now note the units that we're going to get. We're going to get units of miles per hour because this is going to be the tangential velocity. And when we do 2 pi times 3,961, we're going to get 24,890 miles. And we're going to divide that out by 24 hours. And what you're going to ultimately get is units of miles per hour. And when you divide 24,890 miles by 24, you're going to get the velocity of 1,037 miles per hour. And again, this is the tangential velocity of a person standing on the equator of the Earth. And to just reinforce one concept, as you get closer and closer and closer to the poles of the Earth, your tangential velocity is going to decrease. 